what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel yes sir you know it is we back for another new orleans saints game highlights reaction excuse me people i'm still trying to gather my emotions behind this game but if you are watching this for the first time make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join in on what we always do every time the game comes on right now before all you people go in my Instagram, hit me in my DMs talking about I'm mad and I'm this, that, and third, what team or what person likes to see their team not do as good as they feel like they should be doing, right? So without further ado, this is Tom Brady and his Bucks taking against Andy Dalton, uh, redhead, cannon, gun, whatever they call him. Uh, week 13 game highlights. So without further ado, if you all not watched this game on TV, this is the perfect time to watch this. Come on, let's get through these highlights and uh, yeah, just like that. So let's get it, people. That they've had to rely on throwing the football and for a 45 year old, that's tough. Passes to a wide open gun when he makes the catch and has a first down. Man, I would say the first drive of this game, they literally, they had our number as far as moving the ball. Now, as you can see, there's not much pressure on Tom Brady, which is much of his success always come from that. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't play him up close. You can't, like, you got to try to mix up coverage so you can't, you never know what to throw at him. And I will give him that. Penalty flag flies as the catch is made by Russell Gage. Bucks are inside field goal range at the moment, and here's one to Fournette. <laughs> Little Fournette is like a, like a linebacker playing running back, bro. Now, as you can see, this is the first drive. They made it all the way down to the right there. They stopped at like the six or seven yard line. Against the rookie Taylor, third down and goal. Watch this, watch it, watch it. Boy, if you didn't, boy, if you didn't make that tackle, oh my god. The former Jet just flew. Hell of a tackle, boy. So we held him to three on the first drive. I thought he missed that. Well, I swear I was watching the TV. I thought he missed that. I was like, yes, yes. But he made it. Third down and five, and Dalton is sacked by Levante. Now look at the highlight. That's how long. They they held the ball all that time. And literally we went in three out on our first drive. Brady for Matt. I hate like Breaks when we play him. It seems like we can never get Malcolm the pressure Rogers, that we need to get on him, man. Like, he just sit there and just pick Good his poison, you know what I'm saying? You know, greatness goes Again, no Marshawn Lattimore, if you lined him up, no MT. A lot of other athletes, and they did before you pick him. Uh, it burns deep inside him. Pete Warner did not Here play in this game. Yes, yeah, sir. Lay him out. Ah. Chris Olave, what he's done. I'm a pretty tough critic on route running, but he's, he's outstanding. Good protection aired out. What happened when you pass the 89? You get big yards. That's what happened. <laughs> you know, I would turn though. Every time that boy touched the ball, he's fired. Big plate. Dalton passes too high and incomplete for the time. Miss cues, man. Miss cues, miss cues. But he has given up some plays during the season. Look, like, just look, pay attention to that. Every time he sit back and drop, there's nobody ever in his face, ever. Even with the reconstructive line, though. Look, I was watching this game. They showed the replay. Mike Evans was wide open at the top of the screen, though. Thank God he enjoyed the hint. Might be landing there in the Bay Area. Third down and four in the pass. What happened when you pass the 89? You get big play, y'all. Both to number 89 and a first down on an 18-yard completion. Yes, yeah, sir. So, second quarter, still 3 nothing Tampa. Off the edge, Dalton steps up wide open as the tight end Troutman. We need to find out what we need to do to get the pocket like Tom Brady if we have it, man. Like, nobody be in his face. I don't understand it. A little pump fake and then to the near side. What happened there? <laughs> Swiss Army knife. We should have did that later in the game. 
<laughs> I'm giving away too much. Let me chill out. And even Paul Sinadibo, who's been a little more inconsistent, he's done a good job. They've held up well without their corner. So, right now it's 7-3. What happened when you give it to 89? What happened when you give it to 89? Camarda is able to knock him out of bounds. Man, they need to find a way to get that boy in the, in the game, man. Him and Olave can be some problems, bro. Looks it for Olave and a juggle incomplete. Look, the stat line showed it on TV. That's his first miss or drop pass in 95 attempts. Can't be mad, but it was crucial. Very critical and crucial. Very. And this is a team built to win it all. Here's the first target. If you was watching this game, they call incomplete on that play. I don't know how, but they did. Look, look, watch this. Watch this. Oh, what you doing? Hey! <laughs> Look at that. I was into the Monday Night Football this prime time, man. I was all up in there. Olave, he really didn't get involved in this game like talking about it. The Mario, you're a dog, man. Pick up of 10. They're going to give him enough for a first down. And until his senior year, and he showed off the good hands there. Huh? Here's one of the sideline, good throw. Bruh. Great catch by Shahid. Shahid gonna be nice, though. Drawing under pressure, throws, and... I felt like Landry was trying to be cute right there, man. He did look like they had a little P.I. on that, but... I know they're not showing the replays that we saw watching the game, but... I really felt like Landry, oh, he got yeah, hands like Odell. Him and, well, just the one target, it's it's the just automatic. Seven. I don't understand, man. He, he could so not Bucks, be yards. consistent. There he is, makes the grab. And Why you won't have a good game because Marshawn ain't even playing, bro? And overall, the offensive line hasn't been too bad. Look, that's about the most pressure he's going to get all day. Give me that. Long way to go, balls out. Cam, Cam Jordan came behind him and punched it out, man. That was going to be a big first down on that drive, man. I see you, Cam. Dalton back in on first down. Yeah. Steps up. Just a pitch to Ingram. Mark Ingram out of bounds in midfield. I'll take it. I'll take it. Man, look, I'm, I'm acting like I watch it for the first time, man. Look, I just, I love my team, man. Jarvis Even though we're not having the, the best season that we should right now, I just, down. it's something about it, man. I didn't get so many gray hairs growing behind this damn team, man. He keeps. Launch it. He throws. He's going to with Olave. And, you know, we're still very early. Oh, 10 nothing. Uh, halfway through the third. Here's Trout Adam Troutman. Well, Woo, after last game, game, after all season, man, we've been. Every time they catch the ball, be like, no, please don't punch it out. Don't punch it out. Come on, Andy. To his right, throws, passes, caught, but short of first down yardage. I will say this. Tampa got a real stiff defense, man. As you can see early on in this game, it was defense on defense, really. Like, whoever really made the first mistake, which was Tampa with the interception. You know what I'm saying? Giving up the interception. First down for Nett out across the 40. Huh? Like, I don't understand why they play that off coverage with Tom Brady. They run outs and slants all day long. Like, I don't get it, dude. This is way short on third and ten. And the tail of the tape is they passed the ball out of, I guess, whatever defense we were playing. They was passing out of the backfield to the running backs and tight ends. Huh. Olave is going to be nice, boy. They just need to put some meat on him. He'll be a dog. On third down and three. Oh, Olave! Give me that. I'll take that. Now, look, we down here in the red zone, man. That ball was tipped and it's incomplete as Carl Nassib got his hand on it. Obviously, it's what they're fighting against as much as the score. Right we now. got down to the red zone. Like, Lights knocks it through from 29. Mm, 
It was just 10-3. No so we got two. They held us. They, uh, Tampa Bay defense held us. So two field goals and two red zone attempts. Now, you do the math. Yeah, get. But the only thing we needed to do was point seven in there. One good time. Then they went into this old prevent defense. Something they've been able to do yet this year. Dalton to Ingram, who was injured Look, earlier. Look, that play was so crucial because he got hurt on a series before that, and we couldn't make this one yard game to keep the, the clock moving. That one move was so critical. Man. Everything's happening a little bit slow with the amount of time that he has in the pocket to throw. Brady completes the Godwin who's checked out hey, the first down. I can't really never get no pressure on him, man. man. They're not getting anybody to that area. <clears throat> Damn Jordan back in there. Here's another catch along the sideline. For His prevent defense, I hate it, man. Matthew but I understand you don't want to give up the big right play. I mean, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Here's Julio Jones. Because of the lot, it's like that's their game. Like they dink and dunk you all the way down the field. Nearly ten yards. They're gonna mark him with a gain of nine. You're giving it what he want. Over the middle, it's look, look, the look all day dumping it out the backfield. And that's what happened the whole game. Whole game. Sideline shot for Evans. Not much of a factor tonight. Now just imagine this, man. You sitting here watching and that play right there. Pass interference. Put him at the one yard line. One yard line. This is a gimme. Brady right in the middle of that pocket. He gives him a chance, but Adebo's just sitting on it, not really understanding the situation of the game. That's a 44 yard penalty. Brady. End zone touchdown box. That's not what I want to hear, man. That's not what I want to hear. And we literally got the ball back. <laughs> Why are you trying to pass the ball in that situation? Like, I understand we couldn't run the ball all game, but the only thing you had to do was keep the clock moving. Ah. Good catch, better hit. Point blank period. I threw my drink. I was at the bar with my wife, man. Just will be past the Godwin is caught up near midfield. When we needed our defense to clamp down, we couldn't do it. As you see right now, fourth quarter, a minute 59 left. It's 16 10 Saint. Wide open. We kept giving like bruh. You 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 see the animosity right now. Stop the clock. They run it with four nets. To the 31 first down. Evans just came off the field as well. Crazy. Quick throw, pass caught, first down, Scotty Miller. They picked on Taylor. These these last two plays. Now watch this. Watch this play. You remember the last play? Remember this play. Here's one for Julio. Snatching it out there, man. Snatching it out there. Just like that. It was holding. That backed him up 10 more yards. 10 yards, man. I hate it. Sideline. Godwin cannot stay in bounds. It's third down. Underneath. And touchdown, Rashad White.
I'm gonna say this. Tom Brady finally got what everybody in the world wanted. He beat it, he beat the Saints twice in one season. Which a lot of Anna analysts were saying that's why he came back for unfitness business and this, that, and third, woo, 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 whatever. Like his accolades are what they are. Him beating one team two times in a season means nothing when you have rings to prove it. What you've done when it mattered, right? So again, Mr. YT Air is back with again with another game highlight reaction. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you go hit, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button on the people so everybody, all the fans, I don't care. We can go ahead and debate it all. I'm giving Tom Brady his prop. Don't forget that. But anybody who like or dislike the Saints did not see our season going this way. We got too much talent on the team. It's just not gelling and we got some pieces we need to move around or move on from. So until next time, see you next time. Peace.